as you can see, women's doubles time here. The Carlton Irish Open finals. Our apologies, just some technical issues with our sound to start off. But I'm Mark Fielding for Badminton Ireland, Air TV, and Badminton World TV here at the Irish finals. Everything is working. Back and enjoy these finals. Let's see. Women's doubles, the start. Top seeded, Barning and Muskins against Fontaine and Lefell. A lot of Irish interest later. Chloe McGee against Lena Karsfeld in the women's singles final. Men's singles, Scott Evans against oh. Lucas Corvey. That's the first game of this women's doubles final. Top seeds, Barning and Muskins. First game won by Samantha Berry. The Dutch. Convincing winners all the way through to this final. Beat English player Brown and Lechinska in the semi, 14 and 11. And already had some experience against a French pair. No problem so far. In this tournament. They beat Lorraine Bauman and Leah Palermo. Tight first game, 24 22. I think uh, you know why they don't put out two clean, brand new shuttles for them to knock up it because they always want to change it. In this tournament. And certainly the favourites for this title. Meanwhile, Fontaine and Lefell coming through the bottom half of the draw. Like their opponents, beat English opposition. At semi final stage, 14 and 15 victors over Jessica Fletcher and Alyssa Lim. The result of their tournament so far was a quarter final win over another Dutch pair. Here's Tabling and Itzabasen taking it in the third game, 21 19. A very final match, a quarter final stage. Both pairs victorious once already this season. Dutch winning, very competitive Norwegian international. French victorious in the Ukraine at the Kharkov International beginning of the season. So we're back for the second game. Dutch taking that first game 21 12. Some consistent serving. From Barning. And Muskins. Good spell towards the end of the game for the French. Give them some hope in this second game. One thing you know about this French pair is they'll fight and fight till the end.
Rich on the attack. Finish it off. Crossroads now. This match getting away from them. Do or die now for the French. Again, changing a point of attack. Samantha Barney so good at it. Smash cross court for the winner. And the French need to change it up and get on the attack. Not going to win it by defending. Characteristic 
get rid of that from Samantha. down the forehand side. Judgment from Barney at the rear court. Trading by 10, the French. That's really all or nothing now. forced to try the shots and just not coming off. First and third shot of the rally, so important. Matches certainly game over. The French shoulders hanging oh. again. Superb. The Mushkins takes them to match point with just 25 minutes gone. Superbly controlled final from the Dutch. Right now, I feel. Yeah, good shot, Emily. to the Dutch, dominated from start to finish, 21-12 in the first, 21-8 in the second, certainly the form pairing this week and much deserved, stay tuned for a live interview with Barnings and Muskins and we'll be back thereafter with the men's doubles final between Shuttler and Zwarne and Ahrens and Mass. Thank you. 
soon as you catch your breath, if you want to make your way over for your interview and your presentation, please. Girls, congratulations, uh, Irish International Card and Irish International Champions, big smile on your face. Samantha, can you uh, sum up that match for us? Uh, I think this was a really good match uh, from our side, uh, good attacking. And just be patient and make the points, that's yep. our goal. Looking at the match, I think serve was crucial and both of you served uh, fantastically, not just today but this week. Was that an important point? Yeah, I think so. It was, um, yeah, that's just the start of the, of the point. And we both served really good. N not this whole tournament, but this match, it was really good. So that was, uh, yeah, that's good, of course. The whole tournament as a whole, Samantha, didn't drop one set, I think, in the whole tournament. That must be specially pleasing. <laughs> yeah, that feels really good, yeah. What are you going to do tonight? Celebrate, spend some time in Ireland, or uh, go to bed nice and early? No, it's our uh, last uh, tournament with uh, Gerben, so we're gonna party uh, this night. And uh, what's the plans for 2013? Will you stay together as a pair? And uh, any super series on the cards, maybe? Um, we don't know yet, but I, I expect we will stay together as a pair, and we just see what which tournaments we're gonna play. We don't know yet. Girls, thank you very much for joining us, and many congratulations, Samantha and Etchi. Now we can have our winners as well, please, Samantha and Effia. Big, big round of applause.
take place.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Johannes Schüttler, Joshua Schovane, Germany. Netherlands. Jaco Arns to serve to Johannes Schüttler. Love all. Plate. And very welcome back. It's men's doubles finals time here at the 2012 Carton Irish Open. Doubles. Two. The Netherlands. Love. Interest again in this second of the finals here at the Ballard Old Badminton Centre. So, fifth seeds. Johanna Schuttler in Russia. Zona from Germany. Oh. Again, second seeds. Jakob Ahrens and Jelenas from the Netherlands. Oh, oh. Over. One, three. Oh. Two, three. Beat the reigning European junior champions, Chris Coles and Matthew Nottingham in the semi final. 21 19, 21 7. Took care of Top Seed, Jory the Raider, and Dave Kodabox. In the quarter final, 21 18, 21 13. Yeah, go and get a real no. two set win over Robert Blair and Vincent Tan in the semi final. Dowski, seven huh. seats from England, 21 16, 21 13 in uh, yesterday morning's quarterfinal. Hey. Hey. Yeah, really good form. So, nice! Right in the wave of confidence. Of course, Johanna Shuttler this week took part in qualification. Six, two. In the men's singles, beaten by his brother Sebastian in the final round. On that occasion, Johannes. Trying his hand at singles post the Olympic Games. So! Seven, two. Good start for the Dutch. Good start for the Dutch. Just trying to find 
no way into this game. Semi-final win over Blair and Tan. They were really happy with their performance level here this week. Given all that's going on back in the Netherlands, guys have shown real composure, real professionalism. Doubles. Serve and winner on the third. Point in the rally. So a bit of luck for Yako. Twelve. Five. Just there and then coming it in, following it in for the kill. Come on. power. Healthy lead to the Dutch. A bit unexpected. So no! 13, 5. Fifteen, six. Good return from Johannes, certainly. The return of a man who knows that this set has just gone out of his reach. Oh! Seven, 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 fifteen. Brackets. Oh! 
11-16. Oh, good run of points this for the Germans. Four in a row off the serve of Johannes Schuttler. Landing in, a little bit of indecision, I think, from the line judge, but... The Dutch just stopping that, the momentum from the, of the Germans. Game. Remember, they were trading 16 7. No! Oh. 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 Inside the baseline. 18 13. The Dutch needed. Settling the nerves a little bit. Taking them closer to this game. First game, a little bit of nerves towards the end. Dutch then seeing it off. Three points in a row towards the end of the game. Taking the first one, 21-14. Certainly the Germans will feel they're back in this game. After getting off to a slow start. Let's see what they can do. Second game. Second game, level play. Second 
the Germans certainly a lot more comfortable on court already even in the beginning of the second game Three. don't be surprised One. if this goes to distance Body, the Germans for the winner. Good reply from the Dutch. Smash from Yako Aarons. Yako, not the biggest of men, not known. Not the most powerful of attack, but certainly. Last smash. No chance for the Germans. Come on! Go! Yeah, up good vision playing the drop Fortune, I think, the Dutch on that occasion. Open court for the Germans. Oh! Just a little bit of luck the Germans needed. Josh Getting the clip off the net. But you could see it was double. Okay, can I ask him? A little bit of discussion, not quite sure the issue. I think Jakob felt double motion on the serve. Judging by the smile of Johannes, I think he was guilty. But uh, getting away with it, I think. Good flick. Oh. 
Nice judgment that time from Yako Arens. Leaving the shuttle. Just clipping the line. Nine, That's seven, the Kings ten. tend to even themselves out in matches like this. Service error from Johanna Schottler. into the upper body of Jakob Ahrens. Always difficult to defend against. Nine all. Nine all. Joshua Zorn it. Serving. Oh. German this time we take the interval lead. As predicted after that first game. Even though losing that first game, they certainly fought their way back in, found the rhythm. Come out fighting in this second interval lead, 11-9. A lot now for the Dutch to think about. on the ground. Back up, still in the rally. Oh, good neck shot. Oh. Block cross court. So well played. Good rally. And the best rally in the match so far. German's not happy with that call. Right. Thought it was out, but quick, decisive decision by the line judge. No rule from the umpire. to be.
Valley. 14, 12. at the net 13, from Johanna Schottler. 15. Thought about pushing it down the line. A second change of mind to pull it cross court at the net. Leveling it up at 15 all. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Easy for Yele. 
and they convert the first time of asking. On the serve of Yako Arens. So yeah, that's it. Error from Joshua on the return. See Carlton Irish open title. Yako Arens and Yelemas again come through the whole tournament without dropping a set. Deserved winners. Stay tuned for an interview with the winners, and that followed by women's singles. Chloe McGee against Lena Kiasford. Guys, many congratulations. Uh, we spoke earlier in the week and uh, you were <coughs> very happy with your form here. And uh, can we just go back one match to that semi-final win over Blair and Tan? Was that a real confidence boost for you, Jaco? Yeah, it was for sure. Uh, I mean, we lost to, the, to those guys in Belgium. So, uh, of course, it's, it's great if you get your revenge. So we were full of confidence today, but uh, we didn't know quite what to expe expect since it was a new pair. But we knew uh, they were both uh, great players, so we had to bring our uh, best. Yeah. Yele, what was the tactic against the Germans today? Um, almost the same as the semi-finals. Just go to the net early and uh, try to get advantage at the net. The girls won already. Straight set wins all the way through. Same for you guys. Two set wins all the way through to this final. Uh, is how important is that for you? Well, we dropped one, one set in the semi-final, but... Oh, did you? Yeah. I must have fell asleep for that one. Oh, we, oh, we didn't, we didn't. <laughs> but yeah, of course, uh, it feels good. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Yeah. Looking ahead, uh, it's been a good year. You were runners-up, I think, in Norway. This is your first win this season. How important is that, Jelle? Ah, we hope we can build on this for the next season and uh, play a lot of fun tournaments and good tournaments next year. Yeah, you guys look to have fun on court. You can see that you have good chemistry between you. Is uh, having fun as important as winning? Yes, it is. Uh, if you're not having fun, uh, what's the point? And now you've got uh, two victories. The girls have already won. Yako, you have another match later. You want to make it two, of course. Of course I want to, but it's another tough match, so let's see. Guys, thank you very much, and uh, many congratulations. Thank you.
the game to continue in game number three, the Carlton Irish Open 2012. Time for some women's singles. Can we have our technical crew, please? Give them a big round of applause. You're very welcome back to our live coverage here on Air TV and Babington Royal TV around the world. Third final of the day, women's singles. Chloe McGee, Ireland's number one against six seed, the up and coming Danish talent of Lena Kjarsfeldt. For sure, going to be firmly behind McGee with Lena. Will be totally unfazed by that. Very focused young woman. Struggled with some form early this season. This Irish Open marking a comeback to form for Lena. Semi-final victory over the 
very highly fancied Olga Conan of Germany. Two close games. Certainly indicates that the Dane is on form and has the ability to take this as a super net shot from Lina. Early round victory for Lena over Soraya de Vishai Bergen of the Netherlands. Another one of these up and coming young women's singles players from Europe. And winning in 2 22 20 21 19. Another indication of Lena's return to form. Chloe, of course, taking the three in the semi final against Spain's Beatrice Corrales. So winning the first, she had two match points in the second game, but the gutsy Spaniard fought it out, pulled it back and took that second game. But Mickey remained composed and focused, and ran out 21-12 winner in the decider. Again, struggle in the first game against Sarah Milne of England in the quarterfinal. 24-22. Taking the second 21 14. So both girls have reasonably good form. Karsfeld as the likely successor to the great Tina Bound. Tina, of course, hanging up her racket at the All England in 2013. A tournament which she made her own. Won it twice, of course. Lena, big shoes to fill. Interesting to note, Lena, one of those players who excels at not only singles but doubles and mixed. But this week in Ireland, just playing singles, and by no coincidence that she's made the final. Focusing just on the one discipline this week, I think has made a huge difference to Lena Kjarsfeld. Maybe that's the catalyst. Danish youngster to make her mind up one way or the other. An angle on the cross court drop from Kjarsfeld. And from five all, a run of five points in the serve of Lena Kjarsfeld takes her. With one, within one of the interval lead. met recently of course at the Dutch Open. Chloe victorious on that occasion 16 and 12. 
I think this is a different Lena Kjarsfeld. And a good interval lead, 11-6. Superb play from Karasfeld. Of course, Lena Doreen, a European junior champion, not in singles. Mixed doubles with her partner, Kim Astrup Sorensen. Start for the Dane. Lena rolls her eyes to heaven. Error on the drop shot. side of McGee for the winner. Oh, superb neck control again from the Dane. Better from Chloe. Yes, the crowd like that one. Good disguise. Showing the push down the line. Good deception to play the net shot. Oh. So the summer, 16, 10. Then I'm doing all the good work with a bad serve. Shows much emotion, punching the air on that occasion, just taking the power out of the smash, going for accuracy. Uh, again. So 
Just out. Service over. 13, 19. Just out from Lena. Good return of serve. 14, 19. Chloe, wide awake. Quick feet from McGee. Locking it on the backhand. Well, this for the Irish number one. Of course, two time Olympian. Some concentration, I feel, from the Dane. Silly mistake and the return of serve. She was trailing 19-12. That's better. A little bit more patience from Nina. Takes the Dane to game point. Good length from Chloe. Back to within one now of Lena Karsfeld. All of a sudden, the Chloe McGee levels it up. 20 all. Cross court, McGee fully aware and the poor backhand from Lena. And it's Chloe who goes to game point. Can she pull this one out of the fire? Play from Lena Kiarsfeld. Oh, what a 
shot from Karsfeld at the net. Superb. What a time to play the shot. Such a crucial juncture in the first game. And then the smash out wide for the winner. Two in the row for the Dane. Takes Lena to game point. The flick serve. Proving fruitful for Karsfeld. Somehow Lena managed to get over the line. Remember, she was leading 18-9 at one point. Chloe slowly but surely fought her way back in. Laps in concentration, I feel a little bit from Lena. But uh, Chloe will certainly feel she almost has the momentum. Lost the first game, but will feel a certain amount of momentum on her side. And Lena just needs to remain focused. And not lose concentration. Second game, Lena for sure will feel relieved after finally clinching that first game after having such a commanding lead. But certainly McGee. That's a little bit of a wave of momentum on her side. Oh, a little bit of luck for Chloe. Kiaras felt fully concentrated, able to play the winner. To the open court. Good, good smash on the flick serve. Aggressive return of serve from Lena, but able, unable to finish off the point. Was there to be killed. Good start for Chloe leading. 5-2. Seven, seven, three, five. Always a good point of attack to put the shuttle back. 
to the point where your opponent is coming from. Yeah. Big round of applause. Good play from Chloe. Good control at the net. Superb pulling the shuttle cross court and then good footwork. Around the head, cross court, and Charles fell the long way out. Well played from the Dane. Exposing Chloe on the backhand side with the smash. Superb rally. What a rally. Appreciative round of applause for Lena Karsfeld. Great fighting from the Dane. Just in. Chloe feeling the shuttle was out. Hitting the line. Nine on. Chloe looking at the umpire in hope more than anything, I think. It's close. Lena may have. May have been borderline across the net, but uh, I don't think Chloe can have any complaints. It was Lena's point. serve. Chloe going short. And the error from Lena and it's Chloe McGee with 11-9 lead at the interval. Go! 
Good point of attack that for Lena. The cross court smash with Slice proving fruitful on a number of occasions in this match and this week for the Dane. Cheer of the afternoon. 14, the net kill from Chloe McGee. Flat footed. Oh. where the shuttle came. Carswell has started to move forward. Excellent net play of Lena. Good smash from Chloe. 17, In tight to the body of Lena. On the backhand side, very difficult to defend against. Just out. Yeah, it was out, I feel. 
hard to really hard to see from that angle, but I think the line judge got it just right. And the Dane levels it up. Flick sir from Lena. So we taking on Lena at the net, coming out on top. Very quick to overrule on that occasion. There's no way Chloe was going to stand for that. No real, oh, I was going to say no real objection from Lena Karsfeld. I think Lena knew it was out. from Karsfeld. I think she feels McGee is influencing the line judges. Game point for Chloe McGee. Again, the net play from Karsfeld. Sublime. Oh, superb backhand, pulling it cross court, fantastic play from Lena, under pressure. Second game to McGee. Salutes the crowd, her whole family behind her, of course. 21 18 victory for Chloe McGee in the second. One set all. Anybody's match. Final game. Really difficult to call. Of course, the weight of home expectation on the shoulders of Chloe McGee. Three, one. 
Seven, two, three. Very unlike Lena to make a service error like that. Of course, if you, if you examine Lena's service action, she has this folding, rolling action on the racket. And if the timing's not right, you can make an error. net from Carsfield. Good smash from McGee. Yeah, definitely landing on the line. Good block defense from Carsfield. Court stick smash from Lena, just Three, landing outside. Ah, good drive on the return of serve. Two errors from Lena on that backhand. Four, six. Side cross court, great control.
serve in the world from Chloe McGee. Way too much height over the net. Chloe always on the back foot in that rally. After the poor serve, Ms. Kjarsfeld with the interval lead, 11-7. So it's Karsfeld with the advantage. And this deciding set. Good smash around the head from the name. 12 7. Oh, a little bit of luck. Eight, twelve. Crowd getting behind their girl. Service fault called. Oh, service fault called against Chloe Summer. McGee. Thirteen, eight. Chloe, please. Look okay to me. His head is starting to drop a little bit. Needs to regain focus and composure. Four points behind. In our home international final. the honourable thing to do, cheer a bad shot from your opponent, but uh, <laughs> Chloe's still reeling I think from that service call, really has to compose herself now and refocus, and this game will certainly get out of reach very quickly. To lift from the net shot again. Come on! Two smashes from Carsfeld. Two rallies just out. Look again for the Dane. Shot. Catching the top of the net. 15, 11. Falling over. No chance for Chloe. Made every effort.
showing the rabbit. This final. That's better from McGee. from Lena. Just in from the game. Chloe's battling qualities keeping her going here. Just trading by two now. Carsfeld now within two of the championship title. point for the Dane. Four match points. Ah, ah well played, Chloe. Battling and fighting hard. 17, 20. That's one save. Second save. Good smash into the body. 18-20. Yeah, that's it. Change of tactic on the reserve for Lena. And I think well-deserved title for Lena Kjarsfeld. Good win in the semi-final, as I said, overall to Conan. Disappointment for Chloe. She's talking to the service judge. But a uh, championship win for Lily Carsfeld. Back shortly with an interview with the winner. Followed by the men's singles final. Scott Evans against Lucas Corvey.
Rashford, many congratulations and uh, winner of the Irish International, winner over Chloe McGee. How happy are you, are you right now? Uh, I'm very happy. Um, I haven't had the best start on the season, so I'm, I'm glad that I played so good here and especially that I beat Chloe on her home court. I know you very well. I see you playing a lot and you always mix singles with mixed and sometimes doubles. You've come here this week and only played singles. Do you think that's a factor in this win? Not as many games? <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I love to play single and I love to play mix and I always give all wha what I have. So, yeah, I'm just glad that I won. As you said, not the best start for you this season. Uh, we've seen you go out in first, second rounds and that's not you. We know that's not you. So how much of a confidence boost is this for you? Uh, it's, a very, it's very good, yeah. Um, I know that I can and I know that this is the start to that I'm going to. Looking ahead, Lena, uh, what's on the cards next year for you? Any plans? Super Series maybe? And um, ex exactly what do you plan to do? Um, I don't think Super Series right now. Um, this is my last tournament this year and then I have uh, after New Year's. Plenty yeah. of training, I know, in Denmark for the rest of uh, December. Is that correct? Yeah, very much training. <laughs> okay, Lena, thanks for joining us and many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. 
Men's singles final. The weight of expectations on the shoulder of Ireland's Scott Evans. Top seed. Playing very well this week. Against the surprise packet of the tournament, Lucas Corvey. Lucas just coming through from juniors. Here with a big under 19 French squad this week. Start for Scott, 3-1.
He's been in so many finals. In his career, I think last count seven, and defeated every time. And this is the one he wants to win so much. His home international. Played so well so far this week. Of course, already had some experience against French opponents in this tournament. Beat Lucas Clairbo in two sets in the semi final. Destroyed Marcel Ryder, the number six seed in the quarterfinals. And two set victories all the way for the top seeded Irishman. Lucas come through qualification, so three tough matches in qualification on Thursday. And straight into the main draw. Beat Sebastian Shuttler in three. Tough three set battle over Richard Dumka in the second round, winning 22 20 in the third set. So, a lot of mileage on the legs of Lucas Corve this week. in the world rankings between these two players, of course. Five, Scott, seven. 59, Lucas, 243. Tough year for Evans in the last 18 months odd. A lot of changes. In his playing life, spending a lot of time now, of course, in Milton Keynes, sparring with the GB squad under the watchful eye of Kenneth Yonison. Never-ending production line that the French are starting to produce. Lots of young, talented, good players coming through nine, their system. Fruitful 18 months, as I said, for Scott. Best results to date. Semi final, the Estonian International, at the beginning of the year. A good quarter final appearance. The Grand Prix Gold, Bitburger Open. An indication the Irishman is coming back to some sort of consistent form. Then defeat to the Malaysian in the first round in Wales last week. Just Hampering that progress, but Scott not feeling well on that occasion. Good lead, 11 5. As you can see, Tom Reedy. Tom, long history with Scott. Scott was just 14 years of age, went to Sweden, spent some time with Tom. Mutual respect. Corvey as home on a doubles court as he is on a singles court.
trading mostly in singles now. The evidence of this Irish Open is anything to go by. Good aggressive return, Scott. Not the best serve from Lucas. It's definitely there to be attacked. The drive back into the body of Corve from Evans. Bounce at the net from Lucas Corvey. The shuttle st still spinning when Scott had to take it. Ah. Good spell now for the Frenchman, pulling himself right back into this game. Very mindful about getting into flat doubles play against Lucas. Very, very well drilled doubles player, Lucas Corvey.
cross court smash around the head. He's got Lucas going the wrong direction. Ties it up 16 16. Remember, the Frenchman was trailing 12 5. Smash set up by the superb net spin from Evans. Midway through the rally. No chance for Lucas to defend the power of the smash. Guys, push down the line. Point for Evans. Just long from Lucas Corvey, called out. First game, Scott Evans, 21-19. Lot to think about for Scott though. Lucas fighting right back. Evans getting a good lead earlier on. But then, certainly the Frenchman finding his rhythm. Enjoying those flat doubles rallies. Scott pulling through in the end. One set to the good, Scott Evans, Lucas Corvey.
So one all in the second game. Guys, push down the backhand side. by Corbett. Three, four. Contrasting styles. Good defense from the Frenchman. Them up the court. Lucas went to ground. Play Scott. Good attack on the stick smash. for Evans on his serve.
good accuracy from Scott. And on that backhand side of Lucas Corvet. Good vision. Irishman. Oh, it's one shot too far in the rally. Big smile from Scott. That. Judging from Lucas. Scott, that shot from Scott looked to be going out down his backhand side. Easy smash then for Evans. Into a lead at 11 6. Match now for the Frenchman. This judgment from Scott. Scott very quick to get back behind the shuttle on the flick serve. Smash down the backhand side for the winner. No chance for Corvey. Fist pump from Evans, good rally that. Ups and downs, both men attacking and defending. Eventually the error on the cross court from Corvey. Evans now with a six point lead, already one set to the good. for accuracy rather than power.
Evans Lee closing in this Irish Open title. Which remarkably be, will be his first international title. So he has to see it through. Good change of angle and attack from Evans. Yeah, Scott finding his space in behind Corbe. Judgment from Lucas. Evans now one two. Trying to get it over with too quickly. Needs to play the rallies, construct the points. Immediately giving away the attacking opportunity to his opponent. Paying off on that occasion. Point. Close call at the net. And save by Corbe. Oh, another little bit of luck for the Frenchman. 17, 
Shuttle well below the tape, tumbling over. Just out. Another one saved. Great defense from the Frenchman. Emotional scene, monkey off the back for Scott Evans. Finally, for so many years trying, wins his first international and his home international at that. Emotional yeah. scenes for Scott. Everyone concerned with him. And uh, what a way to do it. Two set win again over Lucas Corvey. Crowd applause. Scott acknowledges his support. We'll be back shortly with an interview with the winner. Stay tuned. Still one match to go. Mixed doubles final. All Dutch affair. Reuter and, Bar and Barning against Aaron and Basel. Scott, many congratulations. I don't know who was more excited, you or your mum, but uh, this is certainly a monkey off the back in some respects. Your first big international win, how do you feel? Uh, I don't know how to explain in words how I feel right now. I think I've been in seven finals before and lost all seven, so my record's not very good. Um, so I knew today was going to be a, a tough match. Um, of course, extra extra nerves in there because I haven't won before, and <laughs> I just remember a conversation. Okay, take a point. Go. Um, the conversation I had with my with my best friend Ronan when we were about 12 or 13. And, uh, I always said that I if I was just going to win one international, I would want it to be the Irish Open. And now I've done it. <laughs> well, I know, Scott, um, there's many people who have made that journey with you, and I've seen a lot of those defeats myself. So uh, 
I know what this means to you. I know you're emotional right now, but on behalf of everybody, very well done, and uh, we'll catch you again later for an interview, maybe. Well done. Thanks. Thanks.
Emotional scene, Scott Evans winning his home international. We moved on to the final, final of the day. It's the old so Dutch matchup. You're it, the rider, along with Samantha. Samantha Barning back for her second final of the day, going for a double against compatriots in blue, Jaco Ahrens and Ilse Vassen. Jaco, likewise, going for a double. One of these players certainly has come away from the Irish Open with two titles. Who's it to be? Jaco in blue, Samantha in white. Samantha beat the compatriots Yele Mass and Iris Tabling in the semi final 21 14, close second 26 24. Memorable, memorable semi final between Jaco Ahrens and Ilse Bassen. They overcame fifth seeded Germans Max Schwanger, Carla Nolte in three 21 7 in that decider. This week proving outstanding once again in all the doubles events. Out. So it's over. Three, one. Dutch team always supportive of the Irish international. Such a nice bunch of people too, always willing to give interviews, friendly. Very engaging. Samantha Barning. No chance that time. Drive cross court, Miyako for the winner.
this game to be certainly a tight affair. These four players know each other inside and out. Obviously sparring partners, training partners, and all good friends. Spent long period out of the game, true injury. You can see that heavy strapping on her knee and on her ankle. Coming back to her best. Defense for Yorick in that case. Great power from the diminutive Dutch girl. String change or bracket change for Jaco Ahrens. Pop string. Haven't seen too many this week. Ten, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control from the rear court, from your right, your right here, taking the speed and power off the shuttle with some very well placed drops. And a two point advantage at the interval for the top seeds. In this mixed doubles final, the Carton Irish Open.
up shot cross court Milsa Vassi. of a slip from Yako. The wheel covered backhand side. Or maybe just hanging his head in shame. <laughs> Missed time shot. Good vision from Ilsa. Anticipated. A short return. 13, Straight in at the net for the kill. predicted yeah. yeah good technique Yako pulling the shuttle cross court at 16, the net the winner 14. seeing the replay no chance for Samantha And the winner from Yorat set up with a lovely cross court pull at the net from Samantha. Good control again from the tall Dutch girl. 15, 16. Little break at play. Just long, clear on the lift from Samantha. Up, up. Up. 
Ephraim 16, 17. Samantha Barnings' play this week is her excellent serving. Success ratio off a serve quite high. Discussion with the umpire. Not happy with some of the calls, I feel. to work hard in defence. A little bit of indecision from Yorick, the rear court. Good point for the Blues. 19 all. 19 all. I think we could be in for the long haul in this match. Yeah. Barney and Jared are working hard, defending, defending for their lives. Yeah, game point. Yeah. Oh, well played. Good interception in the end from Bill Savassen. Nice round of applause. That's it. First game 
Topsies, Raider, Samantha Burning. Close game, point for point, blow for blow. But it's Dutch and White who come out on top. Still all to play for in this mixed doubles final. The last action of this 2012 Irish Open. At this point, we're congratulating Babington Ireland on a fantastic tournament, in particular their CEO Richard Vaughan. Somehow, don't know how he does it, but he pulls out all the stops. Streaming live across Ireland on Air TV, across the world, in Babington Europe's streaming portal, Babington World TV. run tournament the tournament is certainly going places as is Babington Ireland on the up for sure second game let's see can Aaron's and Batten's fight their way back From Yorick. Three, two. Serve a little bit high from Yako. Still there to be attacked and put away. Oh. Yeah, Samantha knew she played the wrong shot at the net on that occasion. There, wrong Three. shot. Should have pushed it down the line. A little bit of confusion on the blue side of the net.
Yeah, you can see <laughs> Samantha. Again, wrong Four, shot choice. Six. Points to where she should have put the shuttle. Open court on the forehand side. Few shaky points now from Barney. the net from Samantha. the shuttle right into her body. Again, nothing to choose between these pairs. out wide from Yakov. Point set up that time by a really good return of serve from Milce Vassin. Superb defensive block from Jakob Ahrens. The lead, 11-10 for Ahrens and Vassen. Technically superb, difficult shot to play.
deft on the lift and an easy cross court smash for Yorid. Good change of direction, but good interception for Samantha Barney. Easy smash. Yara to Vera for the winner. Left hand at the end. On to the next point. One point lead. Touch it quite. Serving from Samantha Barn and Key. Backhand kill from Ilsa, right into the body of Yorick the Redder. Closing the gap again, Dutch in blue. Trail 16-12, back within one. Poor sir, Ilsa, she knows it. 17-15. Up for it. Oh, a good return. 16, 17. Forehand side of the court, just pulling the shuttle across. Yako diving to retrieve. Whoa! All of a sudden, it's match point. Production white. 2016. 34 minutes gone. Backhand 
flick cross court. You can see the RR screen smiling for his compatriot across the net. A quick wrist from Jakob Arends. Title to the Dutch in white, second title of course for Samantha Barney. She comes out the big winner of these Carlton Irish Open finals. That's the end of our live coverage from the Good Weeks play here in Dublin. Stay tuned, interview coming up with the winners. Thanks very much. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed our coverage. I've been Mark Feeler for Babington Arden. Forward to your company again. Thank you. Forward certainly to see you again in the Irish. Open the Carlton Irish Open 2012, the mixed doubles won by Jordan Dewey here and Samantha Barney. Give him a big round of applause. Brothers up, Jacob Martins and Elton Van Essen. Now, guys, just as soon as you're ready, if you want to make your way over to our sponsor, Warner Air TV, just want to have a few words, please. Wonderful day, don't go far. Very well played, guys. Um, many congratulations. Samantha, you're the big winner in this Irish Open Finals. Two victories for you. How are you feeling right now? Um, I feel pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Good game. Uh, close game. Always going to be close. You're right against people you know and who are your friends. But nice to come out on top. Definitely. Uh, we know each other so well. Play uh, every single training uh, against each other. So uh, it's not surprising anymore. Yeah. But uh, it's always good to, come, to get on top. Definitely. Samantha, again, good serving from you, a key to uh, the victory? Um, yes, I think so, because then we can uh, attack him, and that's the way we like to play. So. And looking ahead, Jorrit, um, what's in store for you guys next year as a pair? Any ideas? Uh, definitely, we don't know yet. Uh, you know the story, of course, and uh, we will figure out when we are at home. First, celebrate Christmas, and of course, this tournament victory. Yeah. Always, the Dutch always come and support the Irish Open um, very good to have you here. Do you hope to be back again next year? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Back, back to defend your title, hopefully. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> Great, guys. Listen, thanks for your time. Off and have a good party and hope to see you again in the new year. Thank you.
If you remember correctly, I told you there was a Raphael around this morning, very early this morning.